What's going on guys? My name is Jack. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the scribble effect, also known as the cartoon draw effect. And I'm pretty much just going to be doing a quick, simple tutorial, walking you guys through how you can put this effect together in definitely under 10 minutes. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Okay guys, so this is the actual effect I'm going to be directly talking about, right? Very simple actually, even though it looks like it might have a couple layers to it, stuff like that. But obviously also, as you can see, there is only just uh, this one clip, right? Even though I've obviously duplicated it a load of times, so, so obviously it, it can just play a bunch of different times. But it is only one clip. We don't even have to have any duplications of the clip or anything like that to actually achieve this cool effect. And it's actually so simple how to actually do this particular effect. So this right here is of course the same clip of me just on, on my wall, you know what I mean? Flexing with the hands and then I do like a little dab or whatever, right? I just pretty much needed to just do a random bit of uh, bit of movement so I could actually uh, edit this. But basically go ahead and uh, come to the front of your clip and you're gonna wanna go ahead and double click it. That's of course gonna open up uh, the, uh, the, the, the above layer, right? So we can actually draw some stuff on it. Then go ahead and go up here to the pen tool or the brush tool, my bad. It's the brush tool, of course. And you are actually gonna be wanting to go over to paint, okay? However, right, this duration right here, this currently says single frame. That's just because I've set that. It will actually say constant, okay? But of course, just like I had right there, you have to change it to single frame. That will make it so when we draw on this frame right here, we can go to the next frame and it's not there. The, uh, the, the, uh, the pen tool only applies to a single frame, meaning that, of course, we can do a tiny bit here and then skip to the next and do a tiny bit here and then skip to the next and do a tiny bit here. And then if we go to the beginning, that will look like it worked its way, uh, way down just simply because it's kind of like stop motion almost, you know what I mean? Where you used to make them little Lego videos and, you know what I mean, you move the one leg of the Lego guy and then the arm, whatever, and then you chop it all up and it looks like he's walking. It's kind of like stop motion type of thing, right? I'm sure you're familiar with various stuff like this, but that right there in an essence is literally the effect done. Now it's pretty much just how you guys implement it, okay? So I don't actually have a sketch pad or anything like that, which is amazing if you have a graphics pad because obviously you can just get so much more precise, so much better. Overall, I'm just gonna be doing a simple one with my hand, right? And you can, just like I've shown here, definitely do a super effective effect with the actual hand, uh, even though that's uh, incorrect right there. This is what I was trying to show you. Boom. Yeah, you can do a pretty a pretty effective effect with just the uh, the drawing on your hand. Back here, I actually use different colors, right? So today, I, I, I want to change up the colors, right? I'm going to do yellow, and then also afterwards, I'm going to use another color. So let's just go ahead and do our yellow layer. I'm just going to make a cool kind of pattern all the way around me right now. So you pretty much just start sketching little bits. Let's sketch a bit here, move to the next frame, sketch a little bit here, you know, move to the next frame, keep sketching up, and pretty much just draw like a pattern, okay, right? So obviously, I don't know what you particularly want to use this effect for, so uh, feel free to follow along what I'm doing, but also just apply it directly to whatever you're doing. I'm just trying to do an outline, right? I'm just going to do a nice outline of myself, because that's a nice simple way on how we can show off this effect, right? You can mess with it, even do multiple lines on... um on one kind of frame, right? So boom, that looks like it's doing more and more and more. Boom, oh, I'm gonna fuck that up there. We go here and here. Next up, now maybe it works its way up and down and there, right? All sorts of stuff that you could really be messing with. And the more just little details you do each frame, the more it's gonna look like at the end, right? And the more of a overall draw effect it actually is going to kind of look like um but you guys definitely get the idea now i'm just literally trying to get the first mask done now we have the first mask done let's see what it looks like so obviously that's just one simple yellow line going down right and then we could actually go a little more intricate now and you see we should actually go ahead and change the yellow to maybe more of a orange right and now let's just start doing uh go back to the first frame and now just start going over it in terms of adding these little orange lines, maybe even another little one next to it, right? And just see what this is looking like. And even just be working its way, working its way up, doo -doo 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 -doo, maybe the side, okay? 
and we literally just do these little tiny details. So for here, it's gonna get my mouth screw it. Why not, right? And literally just keep doing stupid little details, right? And all of these will definitely in the end add up to an overall big effect, right? I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure you understand the basic gist of all of this right now. It's decently cool. Nothing super out of the ordinary, honestly. It's nothing too wild. If we go to the beginning, boom, now it's just gonna have a whole nother glow of orange, right? And of course you can just continue to do this with various different colors. It is kind of boring. I can't even lie, right? I'm just literally frame by frame, just doing a couple little things and seeing what actually looks like it works out. So now let's go to the beginning, see what, see what we're dealing with. So boom, instantly that makes its way up and then bow. So that looks very cool at the end. Boom, simple little dab with the blue. Boom, and then of course, we could go to the first frame of when that starts and actually go ahead and just make like a, like a red one. This should just look like some shit went up the side of my arm and just squiggles away. Boom, doesn't quite look as crazy as the other arm, but it definitely looks up there. You know what I mean? Now we just have a whole different pattern, okay? So, boom, I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate this like a nice little four times, just like I did the other one, so you can actually kind of watch it in a, in a smooth motion. Boom, let me actually go back over here. Let's go ahead and put this full as well. I'm just go ahead and watch it. Bow! Bow! Going for it, nice squiggly, boom. And just like that guys, in a matter of minutes, you have learned the scribble effect. Two different variations of it, pretty much just completely messing around. If you spend more time with this, 100% can get a much nicer feel to it, and overall a much more professional, uh, thought out look. <laughs> Not just some dumb shit like this, but you get the point, and that's uh, the overall point of the video. Yep, thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff for more video production themed videos, whether it be filming, editing, or making money, making videos, all these topics covered every single day on my channel. I'm Jack, if I didn't say that already. Have a nice day and goodbye.